Hello everyone, welcome to Testing Universe. In this video, we will write a program to check if the given number is prime number or not. So what is a prime number? It's a natural number which is greater than 1 and it has two factors 1 and by itself. So in simple terms, any integer number which is divisible by 1 and by itself is called a prime number and it should not be divisible by any other number other than 1 and by itself. So you can see here these are some of the examples of prime number. 2 is a prime number because 2 is divisible by 1 and it is divisible by itself. 3 is divisible by 1 and it is divisible by itself and it cannot be divisible by any other number. Similarly if you consider 11 it is divisible by 1 and it is divisible by 11 itself and it cannot be divisible by any other number. So these kind of numbers are called prime numbers. 0 and 1 are not prime numbers. 2 is the only even prime number as any other number, any other even number is divisible by 2. Okay. So if you consider 10, 10 is divisible by 2. If you consider 100 it is divisible by 2 if you consider 1000 it is divisible by 2 so if you consider any other even number all other even numbers are divisible by 2 hence 2 is the only even prime number so let's see how exactly we are going to implement this uh, in our program so first i am going to take uh, the number as the input from the user enter number Okay, so I'm going to use scanner class to get the input from the user. Okay, I'm going to get the input from the user. Once I get the input from the user, so what, what exactly we have to do, how exactly we have to check if this number is divisible by, uh, uh, you know, all other numbers, we need to use modulus operator and let's say the user has given 11 as the input. So I have to iterate till 10 since 11 is divisible by itself. I have to iterate till 10. Okay. So from where I have to iterate, I, I, don't, I, I don't want to start with 0, I don't want to start with 1, as we know uh, it will be divisible by 1, right. So I will start with, start the iteration from 2 till 10. If the user has given this input, I will be starting my iteration from 2 till 10, okay. So for that I am going to write the follow for int i is equal to 2, i is less than number i plus plus. Okay. Since as we know, as of now we know 11 is a prime number, but in our logic, the program, uh, we don't know uh, whether 11 is prime or not. We cannot simply, uh, you know, divide 11 by 11 or 11 by 1 and say that it is divisible by uh, only two factors so we have to iterate uh, you know for each and every from each and every number and then we have to verify whether it is prime number or not right so before writing the logic i'm going to take one variable that is boolean is prime and i'm going to initialize that to true Okay, so I'll let, let me have this as a flag. So is prime is true first. Now, if number, as I have told you, if I want to check the divisibility of the number, means if I have to get the remainder as zero, I have to verify or I have to use modulus operator. If number mod i, if number mod i is equal to zero, right is prime is equal to false right if it is divisible by any other number if it is divisible by any other number because we are not considering one 
so if we consider one it will turn out to be true so i'm not considering one there i'm starting from two that's the reason i'm starting from two and i'm not uh, iterating till the number because we know the prime number is divisible by itself so between that if it is divisible then it is not a prime number so that's why i'm setting the flag as false right so once we identify that it is not a prime number right so i'm going to check if is prime right if if it is true then number is prime number means i will be coming out of the loop once all the iterations are done i will be coming out of the loop else i will just copy paste this just to save some time is not prime number right what happens so let's understand the logic the user has given the input as 11 so i is equal to 2 i is less than 11 right uh, i will enter the loop if number mod i means 11 mod 2 is equal to 0 11 mod 2 will not be 0 because we will be getting the remainder as 1 so will not set the flag as false once again the i value will be incremented and it is 3 11 mod 3 which is not 0 similarly if you iterate all other numbers you will not get the value as 0 hence i will not enter this particular uh, condition and after i become i i is greater than number i will come out of this loop and then i will check if i have true right if it is true then it is a prime number else it is a it is not a prime number so let's just execute this program so i am i am going to enter 11 if i enter 11 it will give me 11 is prime number right so similarly if i enter 4 right 4 is not a prime number because it is divisible by 2 it should be divisible by 1 and 4 but it is divisible by 2 that's why i'm getting the output as 4 okay so here we we, we have to improvise this uh, program a bit if i find if i find it is divisible by uh, uh, you know any other number i am setting the flag as false and i should break out of this loop i don't want to continue once i find that it is divisible by any other number if i enter 4 right i is equal to 2 4 mod 2 is equal to 0 and then i will be setting the flag as false once i identify that it is divisible by any other number i should come out of that loop i i don't want to increment again because i i have already found that it is divisible by any other number so we have to use this break statement but still if if i have this prime number right i have to iterate uh, minimum nine times here because if i am starting from two minimum nine times i have to iterate here so in mathematics if if uh, we consider right if i have 11 or let's say i have uh, nine right so if i want to iterate uh, till nine i have to iterate two three four five six seven eight right so how many times i have to iterate i have to iterate four three seven times so you can see here nine divided by two right nine divided by two what happens it is 4.5 let's say it, it will sum up to uh, uh, you know four or five so we will say half of nine is these four digits within these four digits we will get to know we will get to know whether it is divisible by 
uh, any other number or not similarly if you consider 12 right so 2 3 4 5 or or we will consider uh, okay we will consider 12 only 6 7 8 9 10 11 so if we take half of this number that is 6 right once uh, we iterate till 6 we will get to know so it's a even number we will get to know in the first iteration but let uh, i'm just for the explanation i'm giving if i take uh, because in our logic we cannot simply directly uh, go and check whether it is divisible by 2 or not so it it might be even number or all odd numbers are not prime numbers so for that reason if we iterate till half of that particular number right we will identify whether that number is prime or not so we'll further improvise this logic i will just comment this right so you can have this as your reference i will iterate till the half of the entered number i will iterate till the half of the given number so let's run this program again I will give 25 so half of this number would be 12 so 25 is not a prime number so similarly I will run it again I will enter 27 it will give 27 is not a prime number so let's enter 29 29 is a prime number right half of the 29 would be 14 or 15 it, it will iterate till half of that number and then it will identify it is a prime number or not to further improvise this uh, for the performance what we have to do so let's go back uh, to our this explanation you can see here 25 right square root of 25 is 5 if you iterate till the square root of this particular number if you iterate till the square root of the given number it is sufficient to identify whether it is a prime number or not so for that i am going to use the same for loop it is just to improvise the performance you can explain in this way uh, in the interview so that the interviewer will not ask any further questions to improvise the program so i will use math dot square root of the given number math dot square root of the given number and you have to iterate until that particular now uh, square root number right until 5 you have to iterate till 5 because you cannot uh, use less than uh, uh, you know 5 in this case if I enter 25 you have to iterate till 5 that's why I am going to take less than or equal to right less than or equal to math dot square root of this particular number so if you use this particular uh, inbuilt function from java right math dot square root and then pass this number this is more than sufficient to identify so the performance wise this is the uh, uh, you know ideal way to uh, write the program if they ask don't use this then you can write till here okay if they ask don't use inbuilt function to comparison you can write till here right so we'll write this uh, we'll run this program again i will enter 11 you can see i'm get, going to get the same output 11 is prime number and i am iterating till the square root of 11 okay so similarly if i enter 25 right 25 is not a prime number so i will be iterating only uh, five times here so let's see whether we are going to iterate that till five times iteration plus i'm going to you know give i here let's just run this you can see here from two till five it has been iterated it is uh, you know taken the iteration only four here if i use this one the number of iterations are more so the time taken to execute this would be more if i give 25 
2, 3, 4 and 5. Okay, so if we enter any other number, for example, uh, 36, right? So 36 is an uh, even number, that's why it is iterating till 1. If I enter 37, you can see here the number of iterations are more. You can see here it is iterating till 17 because we are considering half of that particular number. If I use mat dot square root for 37 for 37 you can see the number of iterations are less so this is how we have to improvise uh, our logic to have the efficient program so that's all for this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you so much